Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> so this is our Oscar prediction. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, we're not gonna talk about you know all. We're not gonna talk. We're not gonna make this a long video. You know, we're just gonna give our thoughts of who we think will win. Yeah. And this is our person, our personal view of it. Yeah. And yeah. Say this for me, guys. I, I should say this right now. I haven't seen every movie. I've never had a chance yet to see all of them. I have. She has, but I haven't had the chance to do that yet. I'm gonna hopefully I might be able to watch them, some of them at least before the Oscars. But it's not like they to see them all, all the rest of them. Yeah. So I've seen all of them, so it was more harder for me to choose these. So let's get started. Um, we're not gonna talk about like the documentary short, anime short, foreign language, and live action short because, and <laughs> yeah, I just don't care about those ones. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with. Uh, no, let's get the documentary documentary feature out of the way because we always saw one of them. That was yeah. Amy, the Amy yeah. Hawaiian House yeah. documentary. I that's gonna win. I, I wish I saw the other documentaries, but I'm not really a documentary person. But with, when I saw the Amy Winehouse trailer, I it was worth checking out, you know. And I love Amy Winehouse. Then I, she showed me, and I'm like, okay, I'll you know I'll watch it too. I'll check it out. I watched it. Yeah. Okay. You liked it. Okay, so Amy is our choice for documentary. Yeah. Okay, Amy. Uh, so I'm gonna check that off. So we can have that off our list. Um, uh, cinematography. I said the revenant. Thanks. Okay, the I said the revenant as well. Yeah. Good cinematography. Yay! I know this you guys, If you guys ever seen the revenant, have you seen the revenant? Yeah, it's you'll really see why this is it's really good. It's really good. So, revenant for us as. Yeah. No, this is not a professional uh, video. prediction video, but... Okay, let's do costume design. I said Mad Max. The costume design? I pick the name of the actually. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, yeah. I've been making fun of her for liking that movie. Yeah, she likes... That's the whole point of the joke, guys. Okay, anyway, we'll, we'll explain that in another video. Yeah. But I said Mad Max, she said the Danish girl. I like the Danish girl. Oh, the, the costume is in there, yeah. But I chose Mad Max. So, you're the Danish girl, I'm Mad Max. We'll, we'll see who wins that day. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, let's get original screenplay out of the way. Who did you chose? Original screenplay <laughs> 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 I've seen it, but yeah, yeah, that's a good choice. It's a good choice, though. It's the only one. Uh, that's the only nomination in that movie, guys. I'll get to. T I'll get to that uh, after the video. <laughs> <laughs> I chose Spotlight. I think Spotlight had a really good or was, uh, screenplay, you know, and I is a really well deserved one to win. So my choice, is Spotlight. You're saying our Compton? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see who wins. It's, it's a very close race. All of these movies were good, except for I didn't get to see Bridge of Spies. But I'm sad, I'm upset at myself that I didn't get to see that one. So, yeah. I'm a Tom Hanks, you think that, you know. Yeah, but I didn't, of course, I didn't have a chance to see it. There's so many movies coming out this year, I couldn't saw it, but last year. So, yeah. I said, well, I, you're sure to come then? We'll see. And I see, I can picture any, any one of these movies winning. Tough race this year. Yeah. That tough race. Okay, adapt the screenplay. I said room. Uh, me, I put Carol. Carol, yeah. Carol, yeah. Good choice, though. So, yeah, I, I, yeah. These are all based on books. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually reading Room right now. It's in my bag right here. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm reading that. 
Uh, Carol, I didn't get to, yeah. Oh, yeah, all these are books. Yeah, because the Big Short, I read a little bit of the Big Short. I didn't finish it. But that had, that had a good screenplay. I loved the movie. It was great. I loved it. Funny and very serious at the same time. But it worked well, very well together. Brooklyn was good. Carol Martin, the Martian. I was about to say the Martin. Is that an inside yeah, joke? Yeah, it's inside joke. Though he started. <laughs> yeah, so inside joke. Yeah, so. But I, I, I ultimately think it's going to be Room. It was a very well. That's that show that I haven't seen, so that's why. Yeah, he will be seeing this and I will show him. So yeah, Room and your Carol. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I won't be upset with Carol Williams. That was a good. That was a good. Sorry. Okay, so animated feature film. I think we both know. We both. St- it's, I think it's going to be the obvious choice. Uh, um, Let's say it together. One, two, two three. Inside, inside Out. out. I love that movie so much. Do you see Inside Out? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh. But I think Adam Lisa may yeah, possibly, I'm may possibly actually get it. I don't know. I didn't really like the movie. But I yeah. think. It's Pixar, come on, Pixar. Anytime a Pixar movie is nominated, yeah. it gets it wins. So I'm saying Inside Out. You're just saying Inside Out. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Off to the next one. We're gonna do original song. <sighs> All right. So my choice, original song, I put right on the wall on Spectre. I thought it was very, it's very catchy, very. The whole thing with the whole song mm-hmm. was great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I also said the writings on the wall from Tracker. What upset me about this one is like, um, what's the name of that one song again? From, from Fast 7? Oh, no. See You Again. See You Again, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. How about that? Like, and then like 50 shares of Grey is in. Somehow it's not in the race. Somehow. Oh god. They had to call Fifty Shades of Grey an Oscar nominee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just weird. Okay, so going to win that song. Okay. Sorry, I think that's the only thing. That's the only time you're supposed to Shades of Grey than any yeah. song, so it's fine. Okay, uh, let's go with the original score. This is the, this is the one I don't like. <laughs> okay. I, I actually should say all the names. I haven't actually seen all the names of the nominees. For any of the categories that we said, uh, let's say, I'm going to say the names for the uh, Brizzo Spies, Carol, The Hateful Eight, Sicario, and the uh, oh. Star Wars Force Awakens. Yeah, but, Wait, uh, yeah. I what, what's missing from this category? <laughs> yeah, I know that what's missing. This should be actually replaced by Star Wars. Sorry to say it. Sorry to be a Star Wars fan, but you know what? Yeah, you know, it's not. It's the same sort of song, you know. It's really okay, I like Star Wars. I'm not saying it, I'm, it's bad. Okay, yeah, there is some new music in it, but for some reason, most of it, to me, sound like the same. I don't know, maybe my ears are broken. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I, sh- I should have think the Danish girl should have been in this category. Yeah, I think should have been the category. That would be... I, I heard love it. it. Oh, I listen to it all the time. It's not a joke. It's all the music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, <laughs> she, 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 I always her I answer. I look at my You see the Danish girl. I'm listening to all the, even Room. Room had a good score. Room has a good score. You should listen to that. Yeah, that's yeah, check that out. So, but I'm saying K4H. Who, who, who did you choose? And I put Carol. Yeah, that, that that's also good. Okay, let's go with film editing. This one is the hardest. This one's hard because with film editing, you know, it's really hard to choose because. About the pacing of it, you know, the editing is the biggest part about that. So I said the Big Short, uh, the Big Short. I, I said my choice before you. The, the the Big Short, Mad Max, The Revenant, Spotlight, and Star Wars. I said the Big Short. You said. For me, I said the Revenant. The Revenant. I said yeah. It's a really hard choice. I've seen all these movies, and they all have good editing. I wasn't bored at all by none of these movies. I wasn't bored at any of these movies, and all these movies, the editing helped me, you know, follow the movie. But I said the big short, and you said the other Yeah. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go with uh, production design. I 
is Theresa Spies, The Danish Girl, Mad Max, The Martian, and The Revenant. Okay, to me, uh, I picked The Revenant for election design. Mm hmm, yeah. I chose Mad Max. I think Mad Max will win, this was cool. Yeah. I know it was just set in a desert. Well, that's the point with the post. Like an apocalypse or a post of, Yeah, it made it look like a po post-apocalyptic world, you know? It's, I haven't seen the movie since the theater. I've been trying, I've been wanting to buy it ever since this, you know. Well, wasn't been thinking there. of it. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it, yeah. Hey, it's there. It's on Maybe the next time, the next time I'm, I see it, I'll buy it. Okay. So, I said Mad Max, you said Revenant? Yeah. Okay. That's our choice. Again, these are our choices, people. Don't don't expect no, it yeah. to be right. Don't like it, yeah. You know. Oh, don't expect it to be right because we might be wrong. You can only get like maybe him the most. Two. Probably. <laughs> I haven't seen enough movies. Okay. Enough yeah. Uh, let's get visual effects out of the way. This one, we said the same thing for this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did. Okay. Well, I'm gonna read out X Machina or X Machine, whatever people Machina. Machina. It's Machina. It's Machina. It's Machina. It's Machina. Uh, Mad Max, The the Martian, The Revenant, Star and Wars. Star Wars. It's, let's say it together. One, One two, two, three. Max, Max, Mark and Mark and It was, hey, it's not easy to make, make her look, you know, like a robot. So. Yeah, and Lisa Van Kander's also in that one. She was in the Danish role. Yeah. Let me skip that in a moment. <coughs> so yeah, so Ex Machina, he might not win, we don't know because Star Wars is in here. <laughs> well, maybe, we'll see, we'll see mm -hmm. how it goes, right? Oh, wait. Star Wars could only, um, you know, go and win only one, mm -hmm. so you know, all the categories are starting. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Sound mixing. Bridge of Spies. Mad Max. The M I keep saying the Martin. Cause I want to say the Mar Martin. The same Martin. Screw it. <laughs> no. I don't care. The Martian. You guys to correct us. It's inside Joker Wars. The same okay. Martin. Martian. The Revenant. And Star Wars. I said Star Wars. This yeah. is sound mixing. Sound mixing. I said Star Wars. That put Mad Max actually. Okay. So that's our choice. Yeah, I don't, for some reason, to me, I don't know what's the difference between sound editing and sound mixing. I guess I'm stupid. <laughs> PC. Yeah, it's well, well PC. editing. You're editing the sounds and then you're mixing it. It's like film editing and cinematography, basically. I guess maybe. It's like that. Someone explain to us in the comments. I guess I'm stupid. Well, I, I know what <laughs> those guys. Yeah, it's, hard. it's hard to explain probably. <laughs> so, sound editing. Mad Max, The Martian, The Revenant, Sicario, and Star Wars. Star Wars the Force Awakens. I think Star Wars. I said Star Wars also. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the yeah, the Star Wars is going to win a lot of technical stuff. Because it's mostly just not only for technical stuff. So, Star Wars, okay, now, um, makeup and hairstyling. There's only three. There should be more here, because every year there's like only three. We could. Why can't they add more? I don't. I don't anyway, it's uh, Mad Max, um, the 100 year old man who climbed out the window. The window? So, so <laughs> I got it. The 100 year old man who climbed up the window and disappeared. And the last one. I know. So long. Uh, uh, Lucy actually just told me the movie, The Hundred Year Old Man, is actually on Netflix. Yeah, so that's you. We're gonna watch that tonight, but right now I'm seeing Mad Max. Right now I'm seeing Mad Max as well, actually. Yeah. So yeah we're gonna check that movie out. Maybe after, right after we do this video. So yeah, that's some um, Mad Max for the both of us. Even though the Reverend, you know, with the. I wish the kind of the dance school was in here. Yeah, we could have done, yeah, like, we could have done more the dance choices. We could have done more for her and their stuff. I think I made with a beautiful woman. 
<laughs> okay. That's a joke. That's a joke, guys. Sorry. We love you, Eddie Redmayne. Especially Luigi. <laughs> you don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next uh, category. Best Director. We got... Uh, you read it, Luigi. You read it, the director. Lenny, Emerson, Room, Alejandro, G, and Nantro. In our, yeah, in our, whatever. Uh, Tom McCarthy, Spotlight. Adam McKay, The Big Short. And George Miller, Mad Max, Fear Road. Do we say do we say the same thing? Yeah, we did. Let's say it together. One, One two, two, three. three. Alejandro. Alejandro. He won for Birdman last year. He's gonna probably win again this year. <laughs> it was great. Though. It was good. Uh, it's a yeah. I. I my second choice would probably be Lenny Abrahamson. I think that's a pretty nice to pronounce it. For Room? Yeah. Or Jordy Miller. I won't be upset if any of these people won. I saw all of these movies again. <sighs> but I chose Alejandro. It's good though. It's a good one. Okay, let's do Best Supporting Actor. I would do that. I'll, I'll say. So we got Christian Bale, The Big Short, Tom Hardy, The Revenant, uh, Mark Ruffalo, Spotlight, Mark Rylance, Bridge of Spies, and Sylvester Stallone, Creed. I didn't see Creed. I haven't seen Creed though, but... Or Creed you didn't see Spotlight me. either. Yeah, not, not Spotlight. Or you didn't see Big Short. <laughs> <laughs> you always saw one out of the five. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, I just had a time to see all of these. Mm -hmm. So I said Sylvester Stallone, even though he he won the Golden Globe, he won Critics' Choice, he wasn't nominated for a SAG Award. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm I'm leaning toward more him. You? I went for actually Tom Hardy rather than. I won't be surprised if he won. He was good in Resident. Yeah. If they, you know, good, kind of, you know. Though. But if they want to give Sylvester Stallone. No, I can't anymore. He will give it to him for this. I wanted to see Creed. It didn't get a chance. Well, well yeah, I'm saying Sylvester Stallone. You're saying Tom Hardy. Who knows what's going to happen. I think it's between those two. That's my opinion. Yeah, my, I think so too. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Now, we'll get to Best Supporting Actress. Lucy, you go right ahead and say the lady. Alright, so Jennifer Jason Lee, Day for Late. We got Rooney Mara Carroll, Rachel McAdams, Ballet, Lisa Fakander, the Danica, and Kate Winslow, Steve Jobs. And what do you pick? I picked Alicia Vikander. I picked Rooney Mara. Mm hmm. Even though Kate Winslet, she won a Golden Globe, but. Because Alicia Vikander, for the Danish girl, she was in the best. Her and Rooney Moore were in the in the leading actress in the drama for in the Golden Globes. Yeah. And then and that's why she won Kate Winslet. But also Alicia Vikander was in the best supporting actress in in the Golden Globes for Ex Machina. Yeah. Sorry, that's our dog. <laughs> or that's his dog. That's my dog guy. Sorry. I got some there. Pause for a moment, please. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're at the Best Supporting Actors, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I said Alicia. Yeah, but as I was saying, yeah, Alicia, um, she was in, yeah, in the Best, go in the Golden Globe for Supporting Actors for Ex Machina. Yeah. So that's why Kate Winslet won. Because she was probably the obvious choice to win that night. But, yeah. but Alicia, she won uh, Critics' Choice. And the SAG Awards, so I, I think she's like the obvious choice. I, and if they're gonna get, cause the Danish girl's only known for four, known for production and costume. This and then Eddie Remming. We'll get to Eddie. We'll get to that category in a second. Yeah. But yeah, if they want to give the Danish girl something, this is the category to do it. Yeah. So I'm saying supporting actress. For is the Alicia and you're saying Bernie. Yeah. I won't be upset if she won. Tough guy. Tough year this year. Mm hmm. Very competitive. 
Okay. So let's do, uh, actually, we'll save the best actor for last. Uh, let's do best actress. Um, I'll do it. Oh, okay, I'll do, I'll do this one. <laughs> Kate Blanchett, Carol, Brie Larson, Room, Jennifer Lawrence, Joy, Charlotte Racklin, 45 years, and... <laughs> I always have a trouble saying her name. Shorshin Ronan? Yeah. Or Carol. Um, Carol. <laughs> Brooklyn. I'm, so, I'm sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Uh, Brooklyn. Uh, this was a, this is a hard choice, but, um, I like all of these, well, I didn't see 45 years. Uh, uh, I see Brie Larson. She's a lock. I put Kate Blanchett, Carol. You didn't see Room yet. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll watch it too. That might be the first one I'm gonna actually watch. Ah, I'll definitely show it to you. Yeah, you're gonna definitely see it. So yeah, Brie Larson. Oh, if you didn't see Room, oh, I don't know why you gotta just sit in there, go see it. If it's still in the in the theater near you, go watch it. Mm. Best movie you ever seen. If it's already in Best Buy or in the stores. No, oh, not yet. No, uh, well it does. When it does, just buy it. Just buy it. blind buy it. You won't waste your money. Trust me, it's not it's, uh, Okay, so I'm saying Brie Larson, you're saying Carol? I don't yeah. know. Huh. Okay. Now for the cowboy everyone's been waiting for. Not best picture. <laughs> <laughs> best actor. <laughs> you do it, Lizzie. Alright, so we got Brian Cranston, Trumbo, Matt Damon, Norton. Leo. You said the Revenant? <laughs> no, I said the Martin. Oh, the Martin. The Martin. The Martin. Oh, it's on video, so you could. The Martian. The Martian. Whatever. The Martian. Martian. Leo DiCaprio, Revenant. Michael Fassbender, Steve Jobs, Eddie Redman, the Danish girl. Okay. Before we say who wins, this one breaks my heart. Okay, will you agree with me before seeing the Revenant? Did we did we both think that Eddie Remington yeah, was going to win? Yeah, we did. We did think we saw the Revenant. But as soon as we saw the Revenant... We were like, sorry, Eddie, it's not your year again. No, it's not your year. We love you, but it's going to go to it. Leo. We both chose Leo. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to happen. If you guys have ever seen the Revenant, well, if you haven't, go watch it. Also see the dance floor. It's not a bad movie. Okay. That one as well. It's a good one. Well, Leo did a first. If Leo doesn't win, that's going to be heartbreaking. They, they beat him for some reason. Because this is like his sixth nomination. He hasn't won yet. He's like 40 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of, like, Brian Cranston. He's like in his 50s and he's this is his first nomination. Exactly. And he's not going to win. No. Yeah, time. He could win next year or the year before and after. Maybe. If he's nominated for a movie. Pretty sure I do more movies. Even at Eddie's so young, he's like in his early thirties. He still has another chance to win again. So you won last year. Give this one to Leo, please. I won't be actually be upset. Will you be upset if he actually no, choose Eddie? No, choose Eddie. I won't be upset, but it's gonna be heartbreaking, mm -hmm. Leo. I know. You probably won't get into an this table again. Wait, I just jinxed him. <laughs> Not gonna win. Okay, so we're saying Leo DiCaprio. There you go. And then final. Well, now the now the war everyone cares about. That's picture. Let's do it one by one. Big short. Yeah, there's five. Brooklyn. Mad Max. Three Road. The Martian. The Red Room. And Spotlight. Okay, now this one, I actually don't know who's going to win. This, this has been a very competitive year for movies. We don't know. It's the only good movie, though. I saw seven out of the one. Oh, no, I saw seven out of eight. You guys saw three out of eight. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, three out of eight. Yeah, I saw, yeah. Yeah. But I'm going with Spotlight. I kind of... A random, I don't know if it's gonna. Well, I, well, I did see this movie actually. I picked actually Brooklyn. Of all the choices there. Mm -hmm. I only seen Brooklyn, Mad Max, 
Yeah. Yeah, I won't be. I won't be upset. But, um, but, but it was good, but I don't think it. It was like, as good as it should have been. No, 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 no. I'm not. saying it's good, but I don't think it's like a best picture winner. It's no. not. It's worthy of the nomination, but yeah, it's not but gonna win best picture. Yeah. I'm saying it's gonna be Spotlight just because if you haven't seen Spotlight, they're very. It's talked about very difficult subject matter with the Catholic Church and you if you, you, you yeah, read it. read the synopsis on whatever online you'll get it but if you know about the story it's very it's a very very serious but it's also a very well done film I'm choosing Spotlight even I my second choice will probably be Room if, it, if that doesn't win what would be your you said Brooklyn what would be your second choice I think it's all like it's time like in three days. So what would we be your what what, what what would be your other? Well, I would probably would say so if I choose the movie I've seen though or a movie I haven't seen. If it's a movie I've seen, I would probably the second one I would put probably The Revenant. Okay. But if it was a movie I haven't seen yet and I'm just taking a while to guess, I think I would probably would choose Room of Spotlight. I've been I've seen the, all the trailers for every movie, mm -hmm. so I am a little bit informed on the movie itself. All right, so yeah, so that's our choice. Sorry, Amy, <laughs> she wanted to get out. We had the door closed. Okay, so we're gonna end the video now. <sighs> this is, again, this is a very competitive year, so if we said something that doesn't Sorry, let me get, let me let Amy out for a second. Hold on. Going, here we go. Sorry about that, guys.